Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Antoine and I'm so happy to have you. Today I'm going to talk to you all about my testimony and how the Lord saved me. Stay tuned. So my story starts off with me being a pastor's kid. I've been a pastor's kid ever since I was in the womb. Um, I'm no longer a pastor's kid because my dad is no longer here. He has transitioned to heaven. Um, however, I grew up in the church. Uh, my parents had my sisters and I memorize scriptures and stuff like that. We went to church maybe three times a week growing up. Um, but I didn't really have a relationship with God on my own. It wasn't until later that I surrendered my life to God. So it was about around the time when I was getting ready to go into middle school. I was about maybe 11, 12 years old. And I started to realize what salvation really meant. I knew that if I gave my life over to God, that my life was going to be different and I was going to be different, but I was not ready to be different from all of my friends and those who I went to school with. So I went into middle school doing things for attention. I started cussing for attention and I remember doing things in front of boys all for attention. After I completed my middle school years, I remember going to a church conference. It was for youth and um, there was a preacher who was speaking. I don't remember anything that he was talking about, but I do remember feeling so convicted in my heart after he spoke. I remember just feeling like I need to give my life over to God ASAP. I was like, I need to get saved. And so I turned to my friend during the altar call prayer time. And I just told her, I was like, I need to get saved. I feel like I want to get saved like right now. And she was feeling the same way. And so I told her how we needed to go up to the altar and she agreed. And so I told her, I was like, bet you lead. And so we went up to the altar and I had this amazing experience with the Holy Spirit. Words today still cannot explain or express how amazing it was. The picture that I can paint for you um, in regards to my experience with the Holy Spirit was sort of like that scene in Pocahontas where you could see the wind around her as she's singing the song, um, I think it was Colors of the Wind. That's how my experience was with God. It was amazing. It was like the Holy Spirit was like surrounding me up. I felt his presence in a way that I've never felt his presence before. And so I went home that night and I decorated a piece of paper, just a plain piece of notebook paper. And um, I wrote that I got saved in July 2006. I put hearts and stars all on the paper. I was so excited to live for God. And I remember I even posted it up on my wall because I was proud. I was excited. I was ready to live for Jesus. I was having, I had the mindset that I was going into high school and I was going to live for Jesus. After about two weeks of having that piece of paper up on my wall, I ended up taking it down and throwing it in the trash. The reason why is because um, from when I put it up and from when I took it down, I was struggling in my mind with a ton of thoughts. Those thoughts were, once you get into high school, you want to party, you want to have sex, you want to get high, you want to get drunk, you want to do what everyone else is doing, you don't want to stand out, you you want to blend in, you don't, you don't want to be this loser, and no one else is saved with you. I didn't realize it at the time, but those thoughts that I were having were from Satan. He was trying to persuade me to go back into the world. He was trying to persuade me to just give up my relationship with God. Um, since I didn't realize that it was Satan speaking to me and I was afraid to stand out and be different from others, I was still struggling with just wanting to do what the world was doing and just blend in. Um, I took that piece of paper down and like I said, I threw it in the trash. When I threw that piece of paper in the trash, that was a representation of me throwing my relationship with God away. So I went into high school really suicidal, super depressed feeling completely empty within. Since I had the mindset to blend in with others, I started doing things again for attention. So I remember I stole for attention. I got high for attention. I even got drunk for attention. None of these things left me full. They did not fill the void that I was feeling within my heart. I wanted acceptance and I wanted, you know, this great love, but I, I never received it. I never got what I was searching for with people. And I had a good friend group and I had wonderful family members. But the thing was, is that I was still trying to fill a void within my heart. I was still trying to fill it with um, acceptance from people. I was trying to fill it with a specific type of love, not understanding. I didn't understand that. 
the love that I was searching for and the acceptance that I was searching for and the confidence that I needed was found in Christ. After I graduated high school, I went to another church conference and I remember sitting in the back of the church. Um, this lady, she came up to me and she asked me if I was saved. I told her no. Um, I didn't want to tell her no, <laughs> but I told her I wasn't saved and um, she asked if she could pray for me. And so it was during the prayer time, the altar call time, and she laid her hands on me and she started praying for me. I don't remember a word she was saying, but the reason why is because God's voice was overpowering her voice. The Lord just kept telling me. It was it was almost like he was stretching out his hand towards me, letting me know, like, are you, are you going to come? Are you going to come live for me? I love you. I, I want you to be in a relationship with me. God kept telling me, I, I want you to be saved. I want you to give me your life. And I remember just crying. Like, it was a nasty cry. It was like the ugly face ah, with all the snot. Um, yeah, I just, I felt so touched within. And the reason why is because during those years in high school where I was doing things for attention and trying to get acceptance from other people, um, the Lord kept pursuing me. It was like tug of war in my heart with God and Satan. Um, the Lord just kept pursuing me during those high school years. And he just kept telling me, I, I want you. I, I want a relationship with you. Um, but I was hesitant with doing it. But the reason why I was crying is because I was amazed at his persistence and consistency with coming after me. In that moment, I truly felt loved by God. And so later on that night, um, after the church service ended, I remember because I still cared about what people thought of me. I remember stopping at a friend's house and I told her about how I was thinking about giving my life over to God. And I just wanted to hear her opinion, um, her thoughts. <laughs> and so anyway, she was like, oh, yeah, I think that's cool. But I can kind of tell that she wasn't taking me seriously. So I was just like, whatever, you know, I have this mindset that I'm going to give my life over to God. Like God loves me. I feel it. So I went home that night and I went into my room. I got by my bedside and I got down on my knees and I told God, I was like, Lord, I believe that you died on the cross and you rose on the third day. Please forgive me for all my sins. Please come and live inside my heart. I didn't know what else to pray. So I prayed the Lord's prayer after that. You totally don't have to pray the Lord's prayer after, you know, doing all of that um, to get saved. But I did that. And so anyway, after I prayed that prayer, I went upstairs and I asked my dad, um, what to read in the Bible because I just gave my life over to God. He told me to start reading the book of John. And so I started reading the book of John and it was like a light went off in my mind. So I started reading more and more in the Bible and my love for God started to develop in July of 2010. And I'm just so thankful that God saved me. I did not change overnight and I still have a ton of issues that God is still working on within me. But I'm so thankful that God saved me. Um, it took me some months to stop cussing. It took me some months to give up alcohol abuse. It took me some months to um, even have a mindset or even think that I was beautiful because I really struggled with confidence and self-worth. It even took me months to um, clean up my uh, playlist on Pandora. I had to get rid of a lot of artists because God was letting me know that, yeah, your speech has changed. You know, you're not cussing anymore. Um, but your thoughts are still filthy and it's because of the music that you're listening to that's still cussing and your thoughts are also filled with lust because you're listening to lustful music. And so I had to switch up my playlist as well. Those are things that God was doing within like the first year of uh, me living for God. But the best part of my testimony that I love most is the fact that God told me that I have purpose. And when the Lord started to reveal these things to me, I started to feel good within. I started to desire to actually live. I, I prayed to God during my junior year of college. I said, God, I know that I have always said, like, take me out of this world. <laughs> I don't want to live. My prayer switched up. I told God, Lord, please allow me to live as long as possible to preach your word, to tell others about you because they got to know how good you are. They got to know how much they are loved by you. But I'm just so happy that I am no longer who I used to be. Like, God is just so good. If I can tell any woman or any girl out there who is struggling with suicidal thoughts and depression and insecurities and doing things for attention, 
I want to tell you, please give your life to Jesus. He can change you. He can change you, sis. Like, he can really change you. He can help you want to live. He can help you want to um, live for him. He can help those feelings that you're you're feeling, you know, when you're when you're feeling alone. He can help you with those thoughts. He can help you with your depression. He can help you with trying to do things to fit in and blend in with her and blend in with this group. The Lord can help you. If you are feeling fearful in your heart um, to live for God, I can relate. I was there. I didn't want to stand out. I didn't want to be different from other people. But it was God's love that brought me down to my knees. It was God's love that made me surrender my life to him. And I just pray I pray right now that you will understand how much God loves you so that you can surrender your life over to God if you have not done that yet. If you've already surrendered your life to God, keep going, sis. I am rooting for you. I want you to live your best life in Jesus. But if you have not given your life over to God, the Bible says that he's rich in kindness, he's rich in love, and he's rich in mercy. The Bible also says that God has chosen you to be his special treasure, his cherished treasure, his special possession. God is choosing you. He's choosing to be in a relationship with you. He wants to be in a relationship with you. He wants you to know his love. He wants you to understand his heart towards you. If you all have any questions about anything, please feel free to email me. My email will be in the description box below. Um, there are also things in the description box that I'm offering to help you grow your relationship with Christ. I love you guys and Jesus loves you so much more. Bye.